Okay, so I guess we're going to just go over STB image, and then we're just going to jump down here to GLM. Uh, STB image is not very difficult at all. All you do is verify here and learn. All you do is you go into here. STB image.h can be downloaded from here. So here's how you do it. Go over to here. Uh, this is the file right here. You just go raw. Okay. You can copy everything. So you go into here, and it's a. Um, it's a .h file, right? See, stbimage.h. So what you do is you just go File, New, File, uh, Visual C++, Header File, Open, and you can leave that in there, the pragma thing. This is the entire file here, which is insane. It's like 8,000 lines of code. Aren't you glad you don't have to do all this code? So when you go to save it, just go File, Save As. You want to go to your Documents, OpenGL. You want to save it as STB underscore image dot H. You can call it something else if you want. And actually, it's already the header file dot H. So save it. I think that'll work. Yeah, STB image dot H. So now Source CPP. Come in here. Go to the top, and you can include it. It even has the IntelliSense. Now, when you do the STB, see, you need this in your code. And this tells you in the actual file that we just copied over, but, and you have to put it before. You need to define that in the preprocessor constant definition thing. That will allow it to compile and be fine. OK. All right, and we're moving on. We'll do the example. We could do the example. I just, I don't want to. <laughs> so we're going to scroll down just a little bit. We're going to go to GLM, which is the next. Applying textures, texture units. Okay, here we go. Transformations, vectors. We're going to go through all this here. We're just going to skip it. Skip, skip, skip. Till we get down to GLM. Where's that at? Where's that at? Rotation. This is a really great description of how these things work, by the way. GLM can be downloaded from their website. So GLM is right here. You just download the code. Download zip. GLM master. And this is GitHub. I don't actually use GitHub a lot, so I'm a real noob as far as GitHub, but I am very familiar with downloading these things from GitHub. So, <coughs> Okay, so let's go to the downloads. GLM master, and let's extract all to GLM master, that's fine. 1,500 items, okay, close that up. So as it explains here, GLM stands for OpenGL Mathematics and is a header-only library, which means that we only have to include the proper header files and we're done. No linking and compiling necessary. GLM can be downloaded from their website. Copy the root directory of the header files into your includes folder and let's get rolling. So the only thing you need to keep in mind is that this is how they need to find these HPP files. GLM, GLM HPP, GLM, and then GTC. That's the root stru That's the directory structure. So in here, GLM, see, this is where we're actually looking right in here. And I think these are all the files. So you just copy the GLM files, and we will cut documents, open GL, and paste. So now GLM, and you've got the GLM HPP. And then it, it's, these are all the dependencies, all the other files and everything. But you can see that when they go to use them, they just include these three basic ones. Uh, most of GLM's functionality that we need can be found in only three header files that we'll include as follows. And so there's there's probably a lot more in the documentation and stuff like that. But pretty much that's it. That's got you set up with... Um, what did we do? In th that was like five minutes, that one. So. So we got GLAD, GLFW, we got CMake going, so we could do GLFW, um, we did GLM, which is easy, and GLAD is, was really easy. Um, that's it. That's pretty much all there is to setting up um, OpenGL. The other thing, what is uh, TrueType and then the SDL library, but those will be videos for another day. Thanks for watching.